Today we're taking an in-depth look at the new Pulsar inline L5P Edge tuner. So Edge designed this tuner to be a more compact, less bulky design than most of the other options on the market. After we install it in this 2019 Duramax, we're going to strap it to the dyno and then hit the street to see how much difference the tuner makes. Installing Edge's Pulsar L5P tuner only takes a couple of hours because of its simple plug and play design. It plugs in, bolts directly to your truck's factory computer, keeping the engine bay looking stock, and it's easy to remove if you ever go to sell your truck. You can also check out our full step-by-step -step instruction video if you want a little extra help to make sure you're installing the tuner correctly. Now that everything's installed, it's time to program the truck and get it ready for the dyno. One of the coolest things is that you can adjust everything on the fly with the factory buttons on your truck's steering wheel so you don't have to drill any holes, mount a controller, no more shutting off your truck, flashing a tune, and waiting on the side of the road for it to load. Pretty slick, right? You can adjust the power levels and access the options menu with the buttons on the left-hand side of your steering wheel. To adjust the power level settings, you'll need to start your truck. With the truck running and in park, press the cancel button and watch the speedometer. This lets you know what power setting your truck is currently at. 10 miles per hour is power level one, 20 miles per hour is power level two, and so on, all the way up to 50 miles per hour for setting five. And zero is your truck stock setting. To raise the power level in your truck, simply press the reset button on your cruise control, and to lower the power level setting, press the set button. Since we want our first dyno pull to be in stock form, I'll press the set button until the speedometer registers zero miles per hour. So the truck made 390 wheel horsepower and 891 pounds of torque in stock form. Now it's time to turn up the power level on the tuner and see how big of a difference it makes over stock. Since this Duramax is mostly stock, we're gonna start with power level three. This is what Edge recommends for street driving power gains and light towing. Now with the Pulsar set to level three, let's do another pull and see how much horsepower and torque we pick up. So the truck definitely sounded a lot better and it pulled a lot faster than stock. We made 436 horsepower and 978 pounds of torque, which is a gain of 45 horsepower and 87 pounds of torque. Now let's turn the power level up to level five so we can really see what kind of power the Pulsar can unlock. The level five tune made a huge difference. It sounded great through the whole pull and we just made 472 horsepower, 1,033 pounds of torque. That's a gain of 81 horsepower and 142 pounds of torque just for adding a tuner to our truck. That's massive. So dyno numbers are great, but I wanna know what this truck really feels like out on the road. So we're gonna set it back down to power level three, but I've got a feeling it's gonna make it feel like a whole new truck. So let's take this Duramax outside and see what it can do. So I've been driving around for a little while on power level three, and I'll tell you what, there's a huge difference between this and stock. So this thing's got a ton more power, but the power delivery is still very smooth. And when you press down the pedal, that's when you can really feel the difference. The truck feels a lot healthier, but it's not out of control. So now I want to see how the truck runs on level five power set. So just like we did on the dyno, we're going to use the steering wheel controls to adjust it. When it reads 50 miles per hour on the speedometer, we know it's ready to go. been driving for a little while with this truck on level three. Now that we're on level five, it is a whole new truck. I really love the fact that I can adjust everything from right here on the steering wheel buttons. And the power delivery is very smooth on level five. So you don't have to have the InSight monitor to use the Pulsar tuner, but it's a really great addition because it allows you to monitor everything that's going on inside of the truck. Overall, the installation was simple, it performed great on the dyno, and it was amazing out on the street. When it's all said and done, this is a great upgrade, and I think you'd be hard pressed to get this much performance out of any single mod. So if you want some more information on the Pulsar Tuner, visit edgeproducts.com.